Hi there, I'm Rose Jacobs here with you again for Kalkine Media. So in this segment today, we're exploring the impact of the Russia-Ukraine crisis on the Australian economy. Before we do dive in, be sure to hit that bell icon at the bottom of your screen for all the very latest updates. Political tensions are increasing worldwide, with fears of Russia invading Ukraine looming in the backdrop. Realising that more than two nations might get involved in this battle, world leaders stand at the centre of one of the most modern-day crises. As the USA's suspicions grow around a possible invasion by Russia in Ukraine, the world may be looking at prices rising at unprecedented levels. Meanwhile, a war-like scenario can cause global turmoil in the crude industry, with Russia being a major oil supplier. So, direct consequence of depleting oil supplies from Russia can send oil prices soaring, eventually prompting a rise in prices of all other commodities. And it is important to note that most countries are already facing high inflation, including Australia. Oil supply has already been a subject of great discussion since the organisation of the petroleum exporting countries decided to restrict the supply to a predetermined level. Given the huge spike in oil prices during the pandemic, various countries urged the OPEC to increase oil supply, but to no avail. These countries have been worried about supply-side constraints that have worsened in 2021 due to shipment delays and the absence of workers from their jobs. These supply disruptions pushed oil prices to painfully high levels, allowing them to reach a seven-year high in January this year. So if oil prices rise any further, consumers across the globe, including Australia, can face even higher inflation than what is currently prevailing. Sanctions may worsen the situation. Another suspected outcome of such geopolitical tensions is that heavy sanctions may be placed against Russia to avoid a war. However, experts predict that this move could be more harmful than beneficial as its results may be felt globally. If nations were to stop importing energy resources from Russia, the financial markets would be handicapped due to soaring oil prices. Australia relies heavily on Russia for its fertiliser imports, which are crucial for the smooth flow of the agricultural sector. Similarly, the manufacturing sector also faces a risk of supply-side delays, as Russia contributes immensely to the global supply of essential metals. And so the conclusion is, the political turmoil has reached such an immense stage where policymakers seem to be left with little room for negotiation. If the situation doesn't die down on its own, then in all likelihood, energy and consumer prices are expected to take a severe hit. And that's it for today's video, but please check out the website for more information, calkinemedia.com, and be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. I'm Rose Jacobs. Thank you again for joining me.